Here we go. Round one, scheduled for 12. Oh, this is where he's got to be. He's got to use that speed from the outside here. And do exactly that. Pop and go. Be on the outside. George connect with the left. Thing positive that Foreman does. Halfway through the first round. Oh. And Holyfield with a combination. There with the left. Foreman is. And here comes Holyfield. Good luck. Well, it's not a first yet. One round field sits. Foreman stands. Foreman never sits between rounds. Says he doesn't practice that in sparring. So... Pretty battle, immediately stopping him and telling him to get the punches up. And now Foreman comes on. Holyfield is just dominating these first two rounds. Oh, and a nice counter. Good exchange. Looked like he ran into a little bit of a left hook. Oh! Foreman on the attack. You're not kidding. He came back with his own left hook. Overhand right from Foreman. Real wide, but two good body shots by Foreman. <laughs> oh, another right, right from Foreman. Foreman. And a combination. This is so far back with that jab that he was out of range when he threw the right hand. He's out throwing punches. The copy box stance has the way he fights. Oh, another great body Tuck shot. Left to the him. body from favorite Foreman in this fight. Gave him a big shot. Oh, and he's got. Holyfield reeling from a couple shots. The left, the connects. Oh, oh, and rock Holyfield. Holyfield, oh. Holyfield rock an Foreman. And connecting, and Holyfield all over Foreman. Here we go to four now. And Foreman sneaks in the left, and Holyfield counters as well. And Holyfield. George is not being very accurate with that right no. hand. He's landing his javel order for Foreman. If he doesn't land something, himself, another strong right from Evander Holyfield. George missing, Holyfield connecting. That's the story here in the fourth. Another. Oh, another strong combination. Foreman's shining moment was round two. George, a bit of a corner. Charlie Shite said, keeping a defensive posture until you get in close, then open up. And another right left from the champion. Left up got right hand. It was grazing, but it still landed. That's what he's got to do, George. He's got to hit that body to slow. Sometimes Holyfield lulls. And this is the time of the fight he does that. Well, he's such a busy guy. He's on his composure and then comes back. He to just fight took some a 40-second timeout, Holyfield, didn't he? He's come back. He's missing right hand, with that he... looping right. But and another low left. Oh. Through with the left. He looked like a big man last two. round. Everyone talked about his right hand. He's gotten some good lefts to the chin. And Foreman with another combination. He hits hard. Duvis camp kept saying, well, George telegraphs that right. Well, if he does, Holyfield didn't see. Well, this fight's turned out like a lot of people thought it would. It turned out to be a fight and not a one-sided affair. Back and forth action here. And a left from Holyfield. He's got to block that. Pushes it up with the elbow. He tries to deflect it off. George Foreman. And Holyfield covering up here. Well, he's got to be dejecting uh, Holyfield. Oh, strong left to the body from Holyfield. And George comes right back. He got even caught with a short little left hook right there. That didn't do any justice. Fairly even rounds here in the second. another one. Just when you think George is fading, he comes right back. Both of them. And the same for back. Holyfield. Round seven. As we start the second half of this 12 round. Just reaching there and almost paid the price. Oh! I think he just knocked him off balance. I don't know if he hurt him. Foreman does positively. Oh! More punches from Foreman. And Holyfield absorbs it in the middle of the ring. Coming on. Oh. A strong left from Holyfield against Foreman. And a right. And Holyfield landing inside. What punch after another. Wow. And what a round. Oh, and, he and Foreman comes Justin back. Right. This may go. be the round they talk about in years to come oh for both God, men. He's coming back with and Foreman coming back underpants. at Holyfield. Nobody ever says that again about him. He's proven beyond a shadow of a doubt. He is for real. And Holyfield a bit low there, but. Oh, another great left hook by Holyfield. 
And Holyfield coming on strong again. What a round. What a round. What you heard in the background, between rounds, the crowd in unison chanting, George, George, George. Another rock. What, what does a guy like uh, Holyfield say to himself? Eight. We certainly have an expert to refer to. Oh, Ooh, a strong right from Holyfield. He caught a counter right hand by Holyfield. Another right from Evander and a left. Oh! Of round nine in the Foreman Holyfield fight. Pernell Whitaker and Mark Breland behind us yelling to Evander that Evander Holyfield has got one of the best chins in boxing. Quick left. Crowd reacted as Holyfield went back. And here comes. Uh, and now Holyfield on the attack. And take, take the crown from Evander Holyfield. He's going to have to step it up. Because right now, Evander Holyfield has his number. Three more strong blows land Holyfield. Two pulls of. Oh! Right hand rock Foreman. He's out and on Foreman the right now. In trouble. Foreman, you cannot be saved by the bell. And hold and timeout. Foreman went over and potentially talked to Angelo Dundee. And here comes George one more time to start the 10th round. Well, he, Foreman continues to fight. The difference in this fight. And, and another uh, left from Holyfield. And two more. Up of the world. Oh, another. And they trade out. punches. Punch for punch. And Foreman lands a combination. Oh, the jab looked like a right hand from Foreman. And Holyfield comes. And that's it. Continued to stand in his corner between every round, and we've reached 11. Well, Holyfield landed, as they do. That point could be a big, big factor. Absolutely. This if this is a close fight, that low blow point deducted could be the deciding. Foreman rocked in two or three different rounds where we didn't think he was going to get, uh, we didn't think he right now. And Holyfield scores on a combination of three. Foreman tries to come back. But he still has landed more punch up and Holyfield landed. And another oh. strong right and a left from Holyfield. And one to the body from Holyfield, another struck. And Foreman said something to it. As you mentioned, Angelo Dundee was all over Rudy Battle in the 12th round from our estimation to win this fight. But he certainly had his moment. Stay away from one big bomb. Oh, but he lands a right. Nice punch. And Holyfield comes on strong. A timeout in the middle of the 12th round stage there by Holyfield with 15 seconds to go in the fight. And the crowd at the Atlantic City Convention Center comes to its feet to applaud that.